Hi there everyone, Peter here giving you an update um, on the 7th of November of the court case that took place in Chelmsford Magistrates on the 10th. Sorry it's taken so long to bring this update but uh, we've been travelling around a little bit and uh, I'll explain exactly what's been happening in the course of this, this video now. So, the court case on the day. We arrived uh, well ahead of time, well ahead of the 2 o'clock uh, posted schedule. The security at the court was intense. There was police uh, on the, the, the doors uh, and also we were told by the security there that they were expecting many people to show and they were very surprised that in fact very few people showed up so that's just to let you know the power of the movement there. Um, every document was taken from us and inspected, every pen had its top taken off Mobile phones were taken, um, they searched with a diligence that is probably very rarely seen um, in a court. So they were expecting us maybe to take recording or other devices in with us. Uh, we didn't have any, so that's just to let you know their concern. Um, the 1400 uh, schedule for the court case came and went. Um, I noticed on the, the list posting outside court number three there at Chelmsford, that my name on the roster was down as Peter, Peter Smith. Uh, I did inform the usher, uh, a lady, that I would like to be called into the court under the name Peter, Peter of England, or Peter of the family Smith. But I wasn't prepared to go in under the posted crown title there of Peter Smith. Um, this she duly noted, and when it was time for me to come into the court, she came in and asked, Peter, would you like to enter the court now? So, uh, I had all my papers and I was just about to go in. Uh, as I got to the threshold of the court, I was very aware that I did want to enter into the Crown's arena of, should we say, combat, uh, in honour, and to have no doubt in the judge's mind under what basis we were there to proceed. So I simply made a statement as I went onto the threshold that I was entering the court um, and I maintain that all my inalienable rights or sovereignty as a free man under common law should be maintained and that I was to enter the court in honour and ask the judge, in effect, did we have a cord on that? All I was doing is asking him for his agreement. All uh, District Judge Woolard would do was shout, Mr Smith, take your place. Take your place over here, Mr Smith. Uh, he was very belligerent. He was very aggressive in his manner. He was very uncompromising. Um, I continued to make my point that I would only enter into the court if we could establish the fact that my rights would be uh, uh, adhered uh, to and that I would receive a fair and impartial trial. Uh, in effect, he finally then shouted out, um, are, you Mr. P are, you Mr. are you Peter Smith or are you not? Upon which I replied that I was not. And on that, I left the court. Um, the reason for this is evident in the fact that he was offering me a contract to enter into the court under the name of Peter Smith. Now, this seems to be um, splitting hairs, but the fact of not only is Peter Smith not my straw man name, it's not the name that appears on my birth certificate, and it doesn't appear on my passport, it hardly appears on any of the documentation that I have. Peter of England is the name that I have chosen to conduct the legal proceedings under. So, as a result, I maintain that the name that was on the court documents was completely uh, fallacious, false. It was a fabrication, and Essex Police Constabulary and the Crown C Prosecution System got it wrong. What they failed to do in the 18 hours that they kept me in the cells, originally on the 28th of August 2012, is... They failed because I f refused to give them my full name and date of birth. They had to patch together a straw man identity, and they got the name wrong. So, as far as I'm concerned, there's no such entity as Peter Smith. As far as the Crown is concerned, they have no record of a Peter Smith being born on the 18th of October, 1957. So that's where it... it broke down for the moment, the judge then informed me via the usher that if I refused to enter into the court, he would 
immediately issue a warrant for my arrest. When I asked the usher why that was so, she said for non-attendance at the court. And I said, how could that possibly be? Because, as you can see, I'm standing in front of you now, here, in full attendance, and all I'm looking to do is enter the court um, with my, my uh, inalienable sovereignty intact. They refused that. Um, so she went back in, and um, the proceedings then went ahead in my absence. My, a friend of mine entered the court, uh, took observations of what went in there, the one policeman who was brought to testify uh, uh, against me on charges two and three uh, was PC Dean Siggers, and the other one was Detective Sergeant Gary Staff, who was brought in, it seems, at last notice. Um, these people then uh, conducted the case against me, uh, even though I was outside the court, and in my absence they found the entity known as Peter Smith, guilty on all four charges. Now, as to what happened, I am in total, for the record, ignorance. I haven't received any communication, for they had no address to, for which to send the, the, the documents or any details. I did actually hear one of the people come out of the court and inform the usher, by the way, we don't have an address for any of the documents for this person. Um, so, I don't know what happened, I don't know whether I was fined, I don't know what's happened in, uh, uh, on any of the charges. So that's where we leave it up to now. The next update is going to be what's really happened and what some of the documents um, that I, um, I presented to the court, uh, what they contain. So I'm going to bring that up in the next, uh, in the next footage. So, thank you very much, uh, I hope you enjoy this and I hope you enjoy the next one.